Today I get my bulb on with the new Juggernaut Misha Mansour signature pickups from Bare Knuckle.
When Misha first contacted me and told me he wanted me to demo his signature pickups, I'll be honest, I was, I was kind of expecting maybe a slightly modified Aftermath set. And I don't have a lot of experience. I, I, I have not tried every single pickup that Bare Knuckle offers, but the ones that I have tried are very extreme in their EQ curves. And for example, the Aftermaths have, to my ear, a really, really sharp high end that is just harsh. And, you know, they work uh, probably in a lot of guitars. A lot of people use them successfully, but they just weren't really my thing. And I was kind of expecting the same kind of high end response from these pickups, and I was completely wrong. Um, right off the bat, as soon as you put these in, you'll notice that the high end is not not super present, but in a very good way. Um, it cuts off, I would say, probably around 11K or so. So there's still enough high end where you can crank the treble on your amp, but not get some real uh, in-ear harshness, uh, which lets you kind of go nuts with the presence and treble. I actually had the bright switch on for the heavy tracks on this Rhodes Gemini amp. It sounded great. Uh, my other pickups and some of the other guitars that I've tried through the amp, you can't really get away with the bright switch a lot of times because it is just, it's a bright switch. It adds a lot of, a lot of highs, but it's very, very pleasant. The, both the Juggernaut bridge and neck are really, really responsive. Lots of clarity, and I like the mid-range punch that these have. They kind of just cut through, and they're really easy to manage. You don't have to do a lot of work EQ-wise. And they really sound good on a lot of a lot of different EQ settings, which I'm pretty surprised. I was not expecting I was not expecting such versatile pickups. They're not crazy loud. Um, I would say they're mid output, mid to high maybe. Um, definitely in the lower range of high output, but uh, nothing too hot whatsoever. You can still get good cleans, and with the high gain channel still retains a lot of clarity and you hear every string just perfectly. I really dig them. Uh, as a side note, I would like to thank Mr. Keith Merrow for letting me borrow his Rhodes Gemini. Uh, this is his personal amp. And Kyle Rhodes, thank you, I love you. Uh, Kyle made this, uh, made this transaction happen, so Keith, Kyle, thank you. Misha, thank you for letting me check out your pickups. And for more information, Go to uh, bareknucklepickups.co.uk. Thanks for watching.